adding integers with counter chips from RethinkMathTeacher.com. So you should have some counter chips. And if you don't, just try and follow along and think about them. But counter chips have two sides. One side is yellow and the other is red, usually. And the yellow side should represent your positive value and a positive one. And your red side, the negative value, a negative one for each counter chip. So think about in the real world when we see positive and negative values. For example, having money or having debt. See, if you have a debt of $1, you don't have no money. You actually have less than no money. You have negative $1. Because if you find a dollar, you don't get to keep it or spend it. You have to use it to pay off your debt. So a debt of $1 and $1 combine to make zero. Another common real-world example of positive and negative integers is sea level. For example, if you climb uphill or up a mountain, that's a positive one. And if you go down, that's negative one. And again, the positive and negative cancel each other out. But if you were to go down below sea level, you'd be in the negative values. One more real-world example is on the football field. When the player carries the ball past the line of scrimmage, that is positive yards. And if he's tackled behind this line of scrimmage, he loses yards. That's negative yards. So a positive and a negative integer combine to make zero. One and negative one equals zero. So now we're going to take our counter chips and we're going to build this first equation. Three plus two. So what you need to do is get out your counter chips. And first you're going to lay out three yellow ones to represent your three. And then you're going to add two more yellow ones to represent your positive two. And now you'll notice that when you count them all up, they combine to make five, which we already knew, but we're just learning how to use the counter chips here. So now we're going to build another math problem, this time with negative numbers. So use your counter chips to model this, negative one plus negative two. You should have one red counter chip and two more which of course combine to give you negative three. So now that you've got the hang of it, here's two more problems you need to model using the counter chips, negative two plus negative four and three plus one. Now that you've done that, we need to think about the problems that we just did and see if we can't discover what the rules are for adding integers with the same sign. So look at the four problems we've done and see if we can't discover the rule. The rule is when you add integers with the same sign, like down here you have negative 1 and negative 2, which is negative 3, and positive 1 plus positive 2, which is positive 3. When you add integers with the same sign, you add the values of the numbers. In this example, the value of negative 1 is 1 and the 2 is 2, and when we combine those we get 3, same over here. And the answer will have the same sign as the sign of both numbers in the problem. Again, these are the rules when the, we have the same sign in the problem. Now we're going to move on to adding integers with opposite signs. So again, use your counter chips to build 2 plus negative 3. You should have 2 yellow counter chips for your positive 2 and 3 red counter chips for your negative 3. Now remember from our examples earlier, that a positive one and a negative one combine to make zero. So we're going to take one yellow and one red and combine them to cancel out. In this case, we have two of those examples, so we will cancel both out and remove them to see that our answer is negative one. Let's do another, four plus negative two. So again, first build the problem using your counter chips. You should have four yellow counter chips and two red ones. And two yellows and two reds will again cancel out, which we'll remove and see that we're left with two yellow counter chips. And our answer of four plus negative two is two. We're going to do one last one together. Negative three plus one. Again, build it with the counter chips. You should have three reds and one yellow. And again, the one red and the one yellow will cancel out and be removed, leaving us with two red integers which is negative two. So we've done several problems modeling how to add integers with opposite signs. 
Now I'd like you to do these two on your own, negative 2 plus 1 and 5 plus negative 2. Please build those now using the counter chips. And the answer is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 and 5 plus negative 2 is 3. Now again we're going to try and think about what the rules are when we're adding integers with opposite signs. So look at the problems we've done and see if we can't discover those rules. When adding integers with opposite signs, you subtract the values of the numbers in the problem. So again, using our same example of 1 plus 2, we would subtract the 2 from the 1 on both sides, even when the 2 is negative or when the 1 is negative. Both times the 2 and the 1 subtract to make 1 but the answer will have the same sign as the larger integer in the problem. So for the problem on the bottom right, the negative one is negative because the two is negative and that is bigger than one. Over here, our two is positive, so the answer is also positive because the larger integer has a positive sign. Thanks for watching Adding Integers with Counterchips from RethinkMathTeacher.com.